Okay, this is a uh, my favorite method for tying parachute patterns, and uh, it was shown to me by a friend, Clark Pierce, A.K.A. Cheech. Anyway, it's uh, faster, it's more durable, and it's a lot cleaner than any other type of parachute you may have tied. So, I'm just going to show how to tie the parachute part. The rest of the fly, I don't really give a rip about. I get my thread on. I'm going to take that about three quarters of the way up the hook shank to, shank to where I want to tie in my parachute post. And I use poly yarn for the post. You don't have to use that. You use whatever post material that you want. Uh, but this is good because it's going to show up and it's a good orange color. So I just begin by taking half. I take a half chunk of this. And this is a size 14 hook, so you kind of have to size your chunks accordingly as well. Um, and then you can start wrapping it like that. Another option is you can actually bring the whole piece up and around, but uh, I don't think that's going to make a big difference for us here. And then the first part of this, it's important, is you just go around the base of the poly yarn. and you just form a little bit of a post. It's a little tricky. You don't want your uh, thread to come unraveled there. But I need to build up this base so that I have something to tie and wrap my parachute against. And just gotta be careful not to undo it like I did. And that's that's pretty good there. So again, I've just tied in the peri the poly yarn, wrapped around the base going up, the a little about you know the eye of the hook width up the shank, just to, or up the uh, base of the thread. Doesn't matter really. I mean, just whatever you kind of like. If you want to go up further, you can. And then, this one I need to secure it a little bit better. Okay, so the parachute post is now set. Now comes the hackle. I'm going to use some brown hackle. And what I usually do is I'll tear off some of the hackle barbs so that I've got a piece that is uh, got some the hackle stem sitting out. Now the important thing here is that it needs to be the hackle fibers need to be in the V position. So if you lay the hackle down on its side or on the you know just lay it down, the hackle fibers will either kind of point up like that or they will point down. And what you want to do is you want to tie this in so that the hackle fibers are kind of pointing to the post. So you want them to basically hug the post, so to speak. Now the way you do that is you tie it in with them facing up on that little post. And then as you move the hackle stem up, it should match straight up and down with your, uh, with your post. And then you're just going to grab your thread and marry the two together. And I'm going to start at the base, and I'm just going to wrap up. And sometimes your hack will have a tendency to roll on you, so you just need to keep holding it so that it doesn't. And I'm just going to continue to wrap the two together going up. Post a little bit, and I'm going to go back down to reinforce it. Give it a couple of tight wraps there. Okay, now if this were a, a fully dressed fly, you'd obviously have some uh, body material and, and uh, some thorax or whatever, but uh, I'm going to forego that this time so you can see. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to take the hackle fiber and pull it down directly 
so that the fibers are sticking up. That's kind of hard to explain, but you're, what you're doing is you're basically breaking that hackle fiber. And a way to do a quick test is if, if you start to rotate it, you want to make sure that those hackle fibers point up. And that looks like it's good. So uh, just for to show kind of how it's going to look in the finished state, I'm going to throw on a little bit of, uh, of hackle, or sorry, of, th of dubbing. So again, you would have already done a tail. I'm just going to put a thorax on here. And just going to throw the dubbing around there so we can kind of see how that hackle fiber is going to wrap around for us. So again, I'm just going to wrap this up to create a little thorax, nothing fancy, like that. Okay, now I bring my hackle stem down. Again, it's kind of broken. And then I start at the top, and I'm just going to wrap around. I'm going clockwise on this baby. Three or four times until I get to the bottom. Now, here's the, the tricky part. I left my thread hanging in front of the stem and in the post. I want to now bring that forward and wrap my uh, thread around the base of the post. And you really only need to do this a couple of times. Okay, so once you do that, kind of give it a little uh, tug. So you can see now that the hackle is wrapped, counter wrapped with the thread. And now where I tied this in at the eye, right in front of the eye, I'm going to go in and snip the hackle off. Okay, now that the hackle is snipped off, you see I've got my nice little parachute there. Now, one of the most difficult parts of any parachute pattern is tying it off so that the hackle fibers don't get bogged down in the whip finish or the half hitch or whatever you decide to do. The trick with this one is I'm going to grab some super glue and I'm going to grab an old bodkin. And I take my bodkin and I just dab on a little bit of super glue and now I'm going to come up underneath this thread where I brought the thread against the post and I just kind of twirl my bodkin to rub that super glue off on the thread where the thread hits the post and what that does is a couple things is it's actually going to reinforce the post a little bit but it's going to lock that thread in place and so now all I need to do is simply come in here and clip off my thread. And that will not come undone. I've never had one of these come undone. Whereas on uh, traditional uh, hackled patterns that I've tied off with a whip finish, I've had those come undone. This does not. That super glue holds in there tight, plus it reinforces the post. Then is the last thing that you would just need to do. Just come in here and chop off your post. And assuming I had dressed the rest, it'd be a normal looking fly. But that is the super cheech way of tying parachutes. It's a killer. Give it a try.